Hey everybody, it's Haneke here, back again for another video, and today we're going to talk about Camp Allies. Who they are, what kind of things they do, and where to get them. So, let's get right into it. First up, we have Raider Punk. He's a young Raider guy who lives in the underneath section of the core at Crater. Just go inside the core and down these stairs that are next to Meg. And Raider Punk is lurking in the tunnels at the bottom. Initiate conversation with him. And as long as your reputation and charisma is high enough, you'll be able to offer for him to come and live at your camp. At that point, you'll get the ability to build his camp item, which is a radio and a table and a chair. Build that at your camp and he will arrive and you will have him as an ally. That's Raider Punk. Oh, hey. Quiet day on the radio network, I'm afraid. Next up, we have Settler Forager, otherwise known as Gramps. Now, Gramps lives in the underneath section at Foundation. Just go down the elevator. And right next to Paige's office is a ramp that leads out to this bridge over some water. This is where Gramps will be. Now, I can't see him because I already got him a while ago, but you'll be able to see him if you haven't had him before. Once you initiate conversation with Gramps, you can offer for him to come and live at your camp. And at that point, you'll get the ability to build his camp item, which is a rocking chair. Place the rocking chair down and Gramps will arrive, and then you will have him as an ally. Oh my faker, get a prize! Wait, this time it's... well... <laughs> Next up we have Settler Wanderer, otherwise known as Guitar Woman. Now Guitar Woman can be found in various places around the map, which makes it a bit hard to track her down. But I've tracked her down, in the last two days I've tracked her down twice outside the Nuka-Cola plant, so I'm going to suggest we use this spot. So I go to the Nuka-Cola plant, and just in front of the Nuka-Cola plant is this long ditch. And in the ditch is a spawn point where sometimes the guitar woman can be found. Sometimes there's other people here like this scavenger. If the scavenger appears, just jump servers a couple of times and guitar woman will spawn eventually. Now once you initiate conversation with her and invite her to come and live at your camp, you then get the ability to build her camp item which is her guitar. Place down the guitar and she will arrive and you can have her as your ally. So that's Guitar Woman. Lean back and take a deep breath. It'll all be okay. Next up we have something a little bit different, which is a quest ally. Now there's two of these and the first one is... Commander Sophia de Guerre. She was an astronaut who was involved in an accident and you first locate her by beginning the quest Crash Landing, which can be found in your Pip-Boy after you've been into the Maya area. You go to the spot indicated, you go into the bunker and she is down in the bunker waiting for you. Because she is a quest ally, it takes a little bit more effort to get her. She asks you to go and collect a few things and bring them back to her. There's a bit of running around. But once you've done all that, you can invite her to come and stay at your camp. And then at that point, you get the ability to build her camp item, which is her computer console. Once you build the computer console, she has a long quest. By the end of it, depending on the choices that you make, it influences how she will react with you at the end of the quest. Sophia de Guerre is a favourite amongst Fallout 76 players. She's at many people's camps, so I'm sure you will enjoy her quest. 
and you will love her. So that is Commander Sophia de Guerre. Thanks for setting up the console. You can work with this. Next up, we have another quest ally, which is Beckett. Now, Beckett was an ex Blood Eagle who decided to leave the gang and now he's in trouble with them. Now we need to rescue him. Beckett's quest begins when you click on Narrow Escape in your Pip Boy, a quest that becomes available to you once you go into the Ash region. Just go to the area indicated and you can begin. And the same as with Sophia, we need to do a bit of running around and collecting items, bringing them back to him. And once that's all done, then we can invite him to come and stay at our camp. At that point, we get the ability to build Beckett's camp item, which is a little bar. Once we build his bar, that begins another long quest. And by the end of it, depending on the choices that you make, it will influence how Beckett reacts to you. Beckett is another favourite of Fallout 76 players and is at many people's camps. So I'm sure that you will enjoy his quest and you will enjoy him. Bar looks great! <laughs> I mean, even better than I'd imagine. So the last kind of allies I have for you today are the Light Allies. Now the Light Allies were first introduced during a scoreboard Season 3, which was the Scribe of Avalon. We got Yasmin Chahudri, who is a chef, and Solomon Hardy, who is a Brotherhood Doctor. Now on the next scoreboard that is coming up, the Unstoppable scoreboard, which is Season 6, I believe, there will be two more new Light Allies. One of them will be Daphne, who is an inspector, and the other will be Maul, who is a super mutant. Now we don't know a lot about them yet, and we can look forward to receiving them in the next season, season six. Well, that's all I've got for you today about allies. I hope you found some of this information useful, and I hope to see you again in a future video. But for now, that's it from me, Haneke, and I will see you around Appalachia. Haneke signing out.